When you find yourself heavily involved in DeFi, sometimes you need some help to manage your positions. So in this video, I'm going to show you some tools to help you with your DeFi investing. But first, if you're not subscribed, then please do so and give this video a like if you find it helpful. So the first tool is Dapp Radar. Now, Dapp Radar is a platform that provides data and analytics on decentralized applications called DApps built on various blockchain platforms. It aims to help users discover and track the performance of dApps and provides insights into the overall health and trends of the dApp ecosystem. And here are some of its key features. First one is the dApp discovery. Now the dApp radar allows users to discover new and popular dApps across various blockchain platforms, such as Ethereum, Binance, Polygon, Users can filter these dApps based on different categories such as games, finance, and social. Number two, the dApp rankings. Now, dApp Radar ranks dApps based on various metrics such as daily active users, transaction volume, and token prices. Users can see the top performing dApps on each blockchain platform and compare their performance over time. Number three is dApp analytics. Now, the DAP radar provides in depth analytics on DApps, including user activity, transaction history, and token economics. Users can view charts and graphs to understand how a DApp is performing and make informed decisions about their investments. Number four is DApp alerts. Now, DAP radar allows users to set up alerts for specific DApps, such as price changes, new feature releases, or user activity spikes. Users can stay up to date with the latest developments and make informed decisions decisions about their investments. Number two is DeFi Llama. Now DeFi Llama is a data aggregator and analytics platform that provides information on various decentralized finance protocols built on the Ethereum blockchain. It aims to help users understand and track the performance of DeFi projects and provides insights into the overall health and trends of the DeFi ecosystem. And here are some of its key features. One, protocol delivery. DeFi Llama allows users to discover new and popular DeFi projects Protocols. Users can filter protocols based on different categories such as lending, borrowing, and decentralized exchanges. Number two, protocol rankings. DeFi Llama ranks protocols based on various metrics such as total value locked, trading volume, and governance participation. Users can see the top performing protocols and compare their performance over time. Number three, protocol analytics. DeFi Llama provides in-depth analytics on DeFi protocols, including user activity, transaction history, and governance participation. Users can view charts, graphs, and anything else to understand how a protocol is performing and make informed decisions. So overall, DeFi Llama is valuable. It provides insights into performance and trends of DeFi projects, making it easier to discover and track the most promising projects, just like DAP Radar. Number three is DeBank. DeBank is a platform that provides data and analytics as well about DeFi protocols built on various blockchains. It aims to help users discover and track the performance of DeFi projects, provides insights as well into the overall health and trends of the DeFi ecosystem, and here are some of its key features. Number one is protocol discovery. DeBank allows users to discover new and popular DeFi projects built on various blockchains like Binance, Ethereum, Polygon, all those popular ones. Users can filter these protocols based on different categories such as lending, borrowing, and DEXs. Number two, DeBank also has protocol rankings where they rank protocols based on various metrics such as total value lock, trading volume, user activity, and users can see the top performing protocols on each blockchain platform and compare their performance over time. Number three, we have analytics again. So DeBank provides in-depth analytics on DeFi protocols, including user activity, history, token economics, all that good stuff. Number four, portfolio management. This is what most people use DeBank for. It allows users to connect their wallets and track their DeFi investments across various protocols and blockchain platforms. So you can view your portfolio performance, asset allocation, and transaction history all in one place. Makes DeBank very useful. The bank's portfolio management feature makes it easier for users to keep track of their investments across different protocols and platforms. Number four is Dune Analytics. Now, Dune Analytics is a platform that provides data analytics and visualization tools for decentralized applications. 
It allows users to query, visualize, and share data about transactions and smart contracts. And here are some of its key features. Number one, querying. Dune Analytics allows users to query data from blockchains. Users can customize their queries based on their needs and filter data based on different parameters such as block number, time range, and transaction type. Number two, visualization. So Dune Analytics provides powerful data visualization tools that allow users to create charts, graphs, and dashboards to visualize their query results. Users can choose from a variety of visualization options, including charts, bar charts, heat maps, and much more. Number three, collaboration. Dune Analytics allows users to share their queries and dashboards with other users. Users can collaborate on projects, share ideas, and contribute to open source data analytics projects. Number four is integration. Dune Analytics can be integrated with other tools and platforms, such as Google Sheets and Excel using its API. And this allows users to export their query results and integrate them with other tools. Number five is access to pre-built dashboards. Dune Analytics also provides a library of pre-built dashboards that users can use to explore and analyze data from popular dApps. So Dune Analytics is a powerful tool for anyone interested in data analytics and visualization of transactions and smart contracts. It provides powerful querying and visualization tools, as well as collaboration and integration options, making it a useful platform for developers, researchers, analysts, and anyone else interested in data to explore and understand these various ecosystems. Additionally, its pre-built dashboards allow users to easily analyze popular dApps without needing to create their own queries or visualizations. And finally, number five is Revoke Cash. Now, revoking access to smart contracts from your wallet is an important security measure that can help protect your assets and prevent unauthorized access to your funds. To revoke access, I use revoke.cash. All you need to do is connect your wallet and switch between chains where you have connected to smart contracts. Click revoke and sign the transaction. There will be a small gas fee, but it's worth it and it's important to revoke access. And here are some reasons why. Preventing unauthorized access. Smart contracts are self-executing programs that can interact with your wallet and platform actions such as transferring funds. If an attacker gains access to a smart contract that has permission to interact with your wallet, they may be able to steal your funds. Revoking access to smart contracts from your wallet ensures that only authorized programs can interact with your funds. Number two, protecting against malicious contracts. Not all smart contracts are trustworthy. Malicious contracts can be created with the intent of stealing your funds or executing other malicious actions. Revoking access to smart contracts ensures that you don't accidentally give permission to a malicious contract. Number three is maintaining control over your funds. When you grant permission to a smart contract to interact with your wallet, you are effectively giving control over your funds to that contract. So when you approve access to your funds before you make a deposit on a dApp, for example, the default amount is unlimited, meaning that you are giving the app permission to spend all of your money. So revoking access ensures that you maintain control over your funds. If a DeFi project rugs or pulls the plug, you want to make sure that they no longer have permission to access your funds. And number four is privacy. Revoking access to smart contracts can also help protect your privacy. When you grant permission to a smart contract, the contract can potentially access information about your wallet and your transactions. So revoking access ensures that your personal information remains private. Revoking access to smart contracts from your wallet is an important security measure that can help protect your assets and prevent unauthorized access to your funds. It's a simple step that can greatly reduce the risk of loss due to hacking or other security breaches. And once again, I use revoke.cash and I highly recommend it. So there you go. Those are five DeFi tools to help you with your DeFi investments. There's a lot of crossover between them, but they are important and you can choose the best one that helps with your investments. If you found this video helpful, then please give it a like and also subscribe as well. It really helps me out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.